Hello everyone, welcome to another video about WooCommerce. Now in this video, I will show you how to connect Google Sheets to WooCommerce for absolutely free. Now before we get started, make sure to subscribe down below and let's get started. So first of all, you know, before we start, you need to set up your WooCommerce store. If you're building your store, then make sure to set it up right here. I will not go after this in this video. Uh, over this basically so as you can see what you will need to do is you will need to create Google spreadsheet where you will send the WooCommerce store data so just go and create it make sure to put all the uh, you know right here information name email phone order products order total so you can import all kinds of WooCommerce data including location coupons used the order status time of the order and much more so Basically, you can do that right here. Now, what you will need to do is you will need to uh, basically go and install and activate the Uncanny Automator plugin for WordPress. Just make sure to copy this name, Uncanny Automator plugin, and make sure to install it within your WordPress dashboard. Now, from there, as you can see, you will install it right here. This is basically, um, it acts like a bridge. Uh, so you can get different WordPress plugins talking to each other. So um, basically, it's like Zapier if you ever use it. So next up, you will need to connect your Google account with Uncanny Automator. So just go to Automator settings and then enter your license key. You will need to enter your license key in order to use it, unfortunately. Now you can find this information under your account on the Uncanny Automator website. After that, click on the activate license. Next up, you will need to go to app integrations from your settings, Google Sheets and sign in with your Google Sheets. From there, you will need to authorize your account and next up, you will need to also click these two buttons. From there, just click continue and then you will be successfully connected your account. Now, next up, you will need to create your first recipe. So go to your automator and add new. This is right here, automator, add new. And then here, make sure that it is for everyone and then click confirm. Now, what you can do is you can select WooCommerce to Google Sheets and then you can go with WooCommerce right here. Now, next, you will need to choose a trigger. Obviously, a trigger for this recipe, you can select a guest complete space for lands on a thank you page for an order of a product or with a product. Now, you can do it right here, as you can see. So this is basically the trigger. And then after that, you need to choose the trigger condition. So the condition, for example, here is to trigger the automation when the customer completes a purchase, select completes from the drop down menu and then clicks on save. So just hit save. Now, next, you need to choose whether the Uncanny Automator workflow should run when a customer buys a particular product or any product. So you can go here and just select that any product or a particular or specific product. Hit save and then now you can move on to the action section. You can add this action uh, and here, as you can see, you can simply click on Google Sheets. So just go to Google Sheets and in the drop down that appears, select create a row in Google Sheets. As you can see right here, drive. This is exactly like Zapier if you ever use it. And uh, yeah, you just need to do that right here. And then next open worksheet and choose the worksheet where you will record information. By the default, this is sheet one. And then as you can see right here, you can just add sheet one. So that's pretty much it. And then uh, from there, uh, obviously uh, the Uncanny Automator will now show all the columns in the spreadsheet. Your next tax is mapping up uh, each column to type of WooCommerce data. To start, click on the uh, asterisk next to the first field right here and in the drop down click on the condition which is right here under triggers to see all the information that Arcani record um, can, can record basically. Now from there, um, you know, for example, in the following image, we are mapping the first billing name. Um, so you make sure that you, it's first billing name and billing last name. So make sure you do that, save it. And then as you can see, simply repeat the steps to map the right data to each column in your spreadsheet. When you are happy with how the recipe is set up, click on save. After that, you can go ahead and publish the recipe in the recipe box, click the draft switch so that it shows live instead. Now that's pretty much it. Your now recipe is now active and will automatically record each new WooCommerce order in your Google Sheet spreadsheet. So this is the only way currently, as far as I know, how to connect Google Sheets to WooCommerce for uh, free now obviously this uh, you know does have a, a free trial as well uh, you know the the plugin has also free trial as well so if for some reason this plugin is paid and if you don't want to use the paid version and since I put in the title of this video you know how to connect Google Sheets to WooCommerce for free well you can actually do that with Zapier Zapier actually has a free plan which you can do and you can basically select 
uh, and choose a trigger for WooCommerce and Google Sheets integration. It's pretty much the same process, really the same process, but as you can see, this is the way how you can do it and how you can connect Google Sheets to WooCommerce for absolutely free. So I showed you both paid way and I showed you the free way. So if you have any questions or comments, you can comment down below. And if you want me to create a more deeper video and more detailed video, I can do that as well. So thank you guys for watching.